All right. Thank you. So it's it's very exciting to be here. Uh, you know, I'm part of Microsoft. We're bringing uh, our Microsoft's Project Olympus to OCP. We introduced it uh, last last November at the OCP events in London, and we're uh, we're very excited as as it's been as it's been progressing. So we started off bringing this out about halfway through. We're about halfway done, and what our goal was was to make it so that the community would, in, would get involved so that we didn't have to wait that full year and a half for the hardware to be done before we actually start really working with OCP members, with, with the community. We wanted to bring things out early. And so this, what I'm going to talk to you about is the, is the ecosystem, the, 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 you know, the, the people that we're working with, you know, the, the things that have uh, come about because of Project Olympus. And uh, so when you look at Project Olympus, you know, it's, it's really, it's, it's open, source har open source hardware. You know, bring the hardware into OCP, bring it out to the people before it's done, you know, early in the process, get it started. But, you know, we, we decided that we needed a brand new infrastructure. Our previous, our previous systems, um, Weren't, weren't quite cutting it, and so we needed to come up with something new. And so we, we really wanted, you know, our goal from the outset was to make this something that would be very easy to use, very easy for the entire OCP community to use as well. And so we're bringing to you what we, you know, the types of designs, the types of things that we like to use in our cloud, um, in our cloud at Microsoft. But to do this, we, need, we, we needed to do development differently. So the development within, you know, the input from the OCP community with, with the other partners and that sort of thing were, were critical to making, this, to making this project a success. And so as, as, we, as we went along this journey since we, we brought this out, you know, we found that the industry is responding quite well. And uh, you, just, you, saw announced this, you saw announced this morning um, AMD, you know, other AMD, Qualcomm, Caviam, you know, other components, other parts of the community are starting to bring things into Project Olympus. You know, that the important thing is to make it so that things are standardized, things, you know, we can build on top of it so that we can get these products to market more quickly. Um, so, you know, you can see right now we, we have a GitHub out there. You know, there's, there's lots of specifications out there um, that you can go off and look at. And uh, you know we have some hardware collateral out there. We're trying to push as much out as quickly as we can. We also have uh, you know our, our management software is also out in the uh, out in the GitHub as well. So let's start off with the the very base of the infrastructure. So you know we have the server blade, and so the the server is a. Uh, this is kind of the heart of the system. So the server uses Intel's next generation Xeon. Codename Skylake. We've been working closely with, uh, you know, with, with WeWin and Intel as partners to make this to make this a success. We're also working with uh, Flex Power on the power supplies, and that's that's really the heart of the system, the base of the system. So, but a server is just a server if it doesn't have a system to go with it. So, we have a uh, you know, it's it's basically a full up rack scale system. That looks a lot like just regular, you know, it's, it's very simple. We have our universal power distribution in the back, and, uh, and we have rack scale or rack level management in there. Um, we've been working with Ingresys on the, on the rack man management and, the, uh, and the, the chassis, if you will, and Rital on, on the rack. So these, you know, the, the, the universal motherboard, the servers, the uh, um, the rack and the rack management that's the basis for Project Olympus. So for uh, for Project Olympus, you know, we say we can build anything we need to build on top of that. So I'd like to you know point out you know the three exciting, very exciting uh, um, things we revealed today. You know, the, the first is that uh, AMD has come back to the data center. And uh, we have a server that is 
Um, AMD has developed a server that is 100% drop-in compatible into Project Olympus. We take the same, same chassis, pull out, pull out the, the original motherboard, drop in the AMD motherboard, and you're good to go. We've got a Cavium. Cavium is, is, is uh, out there with their own motherboard. Now this motherboard looks a little bit different. You say, well, it doesn't look exactly like you know, the, the original Project Olympus motherboard. That's fine. You know, the, the, the thing is, is, is what are the interfaces like? What is the firmware like? What is the power like? You know, as, as long as all the interfaces work, you know, the, the I.O. slots and everything like that work, it's fine. You know, you can always put in some different mounting holes, but you adapt, you adapt to what your needs are. That's the same thing that you do in an in open source software community, right? You take all these parts, you pull them together, and then you put your own adaptation on top to create a product, right? So sometimes you have to have a little different hardware. In addition, you know, Qualcomm, you see it's a single socket server, so of course that one looks a little bit different as well. But then again, it still fits inside of a uh, Project Olympus server. Inside of the in infrastructure, same interfaces, same power, same management, you know, all of that. And so it's been, uh, it's been great bringing these, these new systems on. We have e even more modules that are coming. And uh, so, don't want to stand in front of this. So we're excited, you'll see out on the floor we have a, a very large storage chassis. That that's a it's a 4U chassis with 88 drives, you know, over a petabyte of storage, um, just in a single in a single chassis. But that chassis marries to the Project Olympus servers, so it fits into the rack infrastructure. We've uh, you know we put a tremendous amount of energy into into this chassis, making sure that this thing provides the highest performance, the highest reliability, you know, features that are really required at cloud scale. You know, we've, we've gone in, you know, there's things like acoustic vibration, or, uh, you know, acoustic noise, you know, it's, you'd never realize it, but, you know, if, if your fans are pulling too much air through the hard drives, they start to whistle. And then the vibrate, you know, then the hard drives vibrate because of the whistling. So. We've done work to reduce that, reduce the, the rotational vibration. We're reducing the hard drive temperatures. We're keeping the hard drives nice and cool so the reliability is high. At cloud scale, when you're deploying many, many racks of hardware, you need the best reliability you can get. And so Microsoft is bringing that to Project Olympus, to Open Compute, so that everyone can uh, get the same benefits. Likewise, uh, th this morning in the keynote, you saw uh, uh, some references to the Lightning server. You know, we, we have a very similar type concept, but a new chassis that we're working on a uh, that we're working on with a vendor. Um, we couldn't quite put their name up there today, but you know, that's we're going. You know, but uh, but that is we call it a JBA. It's, it's a one U unit. We put it in, we, again, we cable it up to the, to the Olympus server, and you can get 64 M.2. These are the cloud SSDs, very high performance NVMe uh, flash drives. And uh, you, know, you get these carriers, each of the carriers will hold four of them. And so you know, in, in the time frame that we're looking at, you know, it's probably 64 terabytes is probably the low end. Um, it'll all depend on what it, what uh, cloud, what size cloud SSD you do, but you know, up to 256 terabytes is is where we think it's probably gonna probably gonna go. It could go bigger, but it, it's a it's a tremendous amount of flash, and so we're very excited about that piece. You know, these these are just examples of add-on components that we can add to the uh, to the Olympus systems. This morning we, we announced the uh, the uh, um, the hyperscale GPU accelerators. You know, so how do, how do you actually do artificial intelligence in the cloud? So these this is an example of the type of system that's been brought to uh, you know brought to Project Olympus. It again it it, uh, it uses a uh, an Olympus server as the base. 
that provides uh, your compute, but you bring on, uh, you know, the, the NVIDIA, the NVIDIA GPUs, you know, the, the Pascal GPUs with, with MVLink, you know, the ultra high performance, or you can adapt it easily and, and uh, use the PCI Express versions, GPU cards. And you're not just limited to NVIDIA, it's, it's whatever GPU cards you want to put in there, you can put in there. But we're doing this and we're, you know, we, we've architected this system so that it'll be uh, unlike any other system. We could stack up four chassis together. You could get 32 of these uh, SXM2 modules, as they're called, these GPUs, 32 GPUs, all working on the same data set, on the same problem in the same system. And so we believe that that'll be able to, you know, you'll be able to attack the very largest data sets, very largest problems that, that are out there with these types of systems. And it's all, it's all part of Project Olympus, all part of, uh, of open compute. So all of that stuff is really exciting. We have processors, we have GPUs, we have storage, you know, hard drives and JBODs and that sort of thing. And now we've got power cords. You say, oh, how glamorous is that? Power cords is actually a, a huge, huge deal to us and others that we talk to. So we have uh, over 100 data centers worldwide. They have, you know, they all have, you know, there's something like three different types of power cords. And so one of the problems that we have today is you build up a, you build up a rack and you say, hey, I'm going to this, this rack is gonna go to this data center. And so you, you put in your PDU, it's got its you know, particular cord, that sort of thing. And then you say, oh, well actually, I wanna change it. I wanna move it to a different data center. And that is, the other data center has a different power cord. So what you really want, you know, it's, it's just like with your laptop, you know, you, you want a power cord that plugs into the European standard or the US standard or you know, these different standards, you don't want to buy a new laptop just to adapt to a different power cord. And so what we've done is we've created, we call it a seven wire connector, but, but the universal power cord such that you have your PDU and the PDU doesn't change. The only thing that changes is the power cord. You just buy a different power cord. You know, the European power cord, the US power cord, the Asian power cord. Whatever, whatever your data center requires. And this, you know, this is the, the PDU that, the universal PDU that we use in um, Project Olympus. But we find it so, so valuable that we've actually uh, worked with Geist to create just a, a 2U in-rack unmanaged uh, PDU with the same connector. And uh, so this is where you're, <laughs> this is where you're, you're, you're taking um, OCP community information and moving it out into the general industry. We're also working on a, a managed switch, you know, or a, a managed zero U PDU as well with the same, the same uh, strategy and you'll find uh, one of those in our booth. So, I took a snapshot yesterday of, uh, of all the specifications that we have out on GitHub. We have quite a bit out there. Um, you know, PDUs, the chassis, the mechanical, you know, you can go out and download all of this information, you know, take a look, see, see what it is. You know, it's, it's, it's all out there on GitHub. We also have uh, the, the rack management software out there. Sorry, I didn't get the link there, but, um, so that's all open source for people for people to use. So, um, so in closing, I just wanted to say I'm very, very, uh, very excited about everything that we've been able to bring to uh, Open Compute this year. You know, you see, there's there's a number of uh, there's still some more talks um, this afternoon, and then we have a whole a whole series of talks tomorrow in the uh, in the workshops that we encourage you to come. Get more details. You want more details on the on the servers on the the JBOV and the JBODs, you know, we have a whole series of talks on that. So, thank you.